the other way and talk about God, places when he limits boundaries and uh, the limits to human arrogance. He, God does put a line in the sand. Uh, back in Genesis 11, I want you to remember that chapter, the whole earth at that time was one language and one speech, and it came past as they journeyed from the east. They found a plain on the land of Shinar, and uh, they dwelt there. And uh, the, the plain of Shinar is where Babylon emerges, of course. And they said one to another, go and let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime they only had for mortar. They said, go, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name that, that, that lest we be scattered upon the face of the earth. The thing that God would not allow is giving them the freedom to do anything they could imagine to do. There's a point at which they draw the line. And by the way, who's he talking to here? It's a conversation within the Trinity, analogous, if you will, to Psalm 2, where all three of them are having a discussion. Check it out if you haven't done that before. God says, go to, let us, plural, plural us, by the way. By the way, did you know in Hebrew how many it takes to make a plural? In English, it's two. In Hebrew, it's three. I thought that's kind of interesting. 